how's it going folks? Years ago, I used to make something called State of the CT Scaper, where I would kind of explain what was going on uh, with my life, and maybe a little bit about the business, and just, you know, what I was seeing going on. And I wanna, I wanna make one of those today, or actually, I, I already filmed a clip today, which isn't really about uh, the business, but it's more just about, about life in general for me, and some things I've been learning uh, unfortunately, the, the hard way over the last few years. So the clip I'm going to go to next, um, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing I filmed. So it's not going to, you know, the camera be a little, might be a little shaky. But um, I just kind of wanted to share a few things. And um, I know some of my later State of the CT scapers I, I was kind of starting to, I could actually see, and some people commented, they could tell that I was kind of processing something. And I think that this next clip is going to explain what I was processing, you know, years ago when I filmed those last ones, uh, even though I really didn't realize I was. So I'm just going to get right into it. It's going to start abruptly, and I'm not sure I have a close on this one either. But um, anybody who watches the landscaping videos, the chainsaw videos, the equipment maintenance videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching and um, let's get started. Thanks. You know, I, I guess I did just want to say, um, you know, to some of my, my regular viewers, I know there's a core of guys that um, seem to be around a similar age to me, uh, that seem to kind of check in on me once in a while and thank you. Um, you know, I used to do these state of the CT scaper things and I guess um, for a while now, you know, like I, you know, I've gotten to a certain age in life and I'm starting to see the world for what it is. And I'm, I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer, but I'm just, um, I'm starting to see how not everybody, you, you never want to go, you know, what they call all or nothing thinking. But I just, all my life, I've always tried to give more than people give back, like to try to be, yeah, you know, put the good out in the world. And I've just had a few incidences in the last few years, maybe more than a few incidences where, like, don't get me wrong, part of it could be attributed to me, but I guess I'm kind of surprised how fragile people can be. And I guess the part that really gets me is the more confident somebody acts, like they have all the answers, or the more somebody, and, and I, I fear I'm talking about myself, the more somebody finds fault with other people, and I, uh, you know, some of this goes back to, I'm looking back at the way I was raised as well, and there's some, there's some habits that I need to, to work on breaking, but, um, you know, people that are like uber confident, and people that can always find fault with others, Man, you gotta be careful with those people because no matter how confident they act, they're so, they're so insecure, they're so fragile, so fragile, like they can't look at themselves for a minute. And, and don't get me wrong, like I have a really hard time looking at my behaviors, but I like to think most of the time, I'm not perfect by any means, I go out of my way not to do harm to others, but there's, there's people in this world that will actually expend more energy harming someone, whether it's not like physical harm, but just like sabotaging them or just being annoying because they really have nothing else to live for. The only, it's only if, if they see people reacting to their shenanigans, and shenanigans is a nice term, that they feel like they exist because they had such a, a lousy childhood, you know, and they can't see it for what it is. 
And I, I guess I've just spent a lot of time, you know, the reason, the reason I haven't been making a ton of videos is because all my life I've been, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, why would somebody, like, why would somebody do that? Why would somebody act so not nice? Like after everything you've done for somebody and, and I don't, again, I, I, tr like you try to be, be nice to people all the time, but if I'm nice to somebody, I'm not like, well, maybe if I'm really nice to them, I can exploit them for more than I, they, than I put in. But you'll notice with some people, initially they're like really, really nice, and then they just keep wanting more and more favors. And, and, and I guess that slapped me in the, in the face um, uh, recently. Well, I, I don't want to get into details, but, um, I guess I've gotten to that point where I, I can't really unsee what I've seen. And, you know, you'll talk to people and they're like, oh, give them the benefit of the doubt. Or, you know, you're just, I am seeing things from my perspective, obviously, but it's just hard to deny. Like I've gotten to the point in life where I no longer listen to the words people say. And I just say, what are their actions? Or if they, if they say words, what are their words Again, more actions. I mean, words are so cheap to people looking to take advantage of others. But it's usually just, it just amazes me how, how fragile, and it's always, it's always, not always, often, uh, the guy with the loudest voice in the room, the guy that has the answer for everything, it's, it's just an act, man. It's just smoke and mirrors. And... And I, I guess I kind of see that like on YouTube, there are some creators I, I stop watching because they're that, that uber confidence. I'm just like, man, it's, don't get me wrong, confidence is a great thing. And I wish I could expound confidence the way some of these people do, but I, I know there's more to know. I know there's, I'm never gonna have the right answer all the time, but I, I just, Again, I, I just, I, I got bit in the butt several times in the last few years. And it's, it's more just me giving the benefit of the doubt again and again, instead of saying, okay, see it for what it is and just, just let it be. And, and even if you do just see it for what it is and let it be, it's like people are so delicate. Like I don't even call out bad behavior anymore I just, I just get away from it and, and just, you know, um, I got better things to do than argue with, with somebody about their behavior or have them try to attack me because they feel like by me pointing out anything about them that's not right or that I don't appreciate, no matter how gently, they, they just, you know, they can't handle the truth. You want the truth, you can't handle the truth. That's Jack Nicholson. And again, don't get me wrong, like I, I'm not like just willing to sit there all day and listen to the litany of, of things that, that some of these people would say about me, but um, I, I've spent so much time trying to learn, you know, about these type of people. And again, some of it goes back to my childhood, people I knew in my childhood people I've known through life and trying to understand why they would do things they've done. And then when you, you know, when you see um, certain signs, it, it all becomes very clear. And that's kind of where, where I am. And, and I'm, I'm literally, um, I'm kind of at the point now where I wanna, I wanna stop thinking about that and just go, go about my day to day. And r rather than waiting to get to the third or fourth indiscretion, uh, there's something called setting boundaries where, you know, if somebody treats you how you don't appreciate, in the moment you, you set a boundary and say, hey, I don't appreciate you, you know, treat me this way. And you don't say you have to stop, but if somebody doesn't, doesn't treat you the way you, you think you deserve to be treated, you just, you just, you know, uh, walk out of the conversation or, 
if they repeatedly do it, I mean, why would you want somebody in your life who's constantly um, trying to put you down? That, that just makes no sense. And that's the other really weird thing is the very people who try the hardest to sabotage and put you down never admit to doing it. And uh, it's just the weirdest, the weirdest thing. I know there was, um, you know, being, being with the business, many times I've had customers, uh, for lack of a better term, go off on me. And it seemed like such a minor thing, like, like a phone call, like, hey, John, could you, could you do this, uh, you know, a little differently? Or, hey, John, I don't appreciate that this was done this way. Is there a different way to do it? But people like chose to get either passive aggressive or you know, I've been yelled at more than once in life. And every time I usually send an email because I, I'm um, still working on in the moment saying, hold on, if we're gonna keep talking, you need to talk to me like an adult, you know, calmly. I can't respond if you're gonna um, talk to me, yell at me, like we're just not, we're just not having this conversation. Um, because you only yell at people that you see is beneath you. Um, you'll never see a child, hopefully, yelling at their parents, uh, and you'll never see a subordinate, um, which I suppose is what I am in this great world, uh, yelling at their superior. Um, as a contractor, I do see myself as an equal with my customers, and I think good behavior goes two ways, but I just, um, oh, I lost my point. Um, I just was saying several times it's happened and, and every time I've ever, no matter how I try to find the right words to say, I don't appreciate the way you talked to me the last time we spoke, I'd appreciate it if you would, you know, act more calmly or, you know, like you try to just be as gentle and delicate as you can every time the person who was 10 times worse than whatever calm thing I was saying is like, well, then we're just not gonna work together anymore, you know? And, and they'll, and it just, it just, it just fascinates me. And um, I, I guess the part of all that is, is to just get to the point in life where you realize, one, uh, the way they're acting has nothing to do with me. Uh, that's baggage they're carrying from their childhood. Uh, and, and number two, is call it out early, call it out calmly, don't start yelling. And if somebody wants to yell at you, you know, that's on them. Um, I mean, I've, I've lost my temper in life. I have yelled. Um, usually it's in response to someone treating me poorly. Uh, it's, uh, it's called reactive abuse when someone pushes your buttons and pushes your buttons and pushes your buttons and then when the person pushing your buttons gets you to react and lose your temper. They go, look at, look at how you know, unstable you are. So um, you know, that's a thing too. So it's like, I, I don't know. It just, um, I, I've spent a, a lot of time trying to kind of figure all this out. My arms are getting heavy and, and I just, um, Maybe we'll talk about that some other time on this channel, because like I assure you, this was something that was never, never taught to me uh, when I was young. Anyways, maybe we can talk about that more because I just feel like there's so many good people out there that keep trying to, to find the good in people and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think after someone has stepped on you the second or third time, you just have to accept them for who they are and say, you know, uh, if you want help, you should get help, but I, I'm not gonna be there to help you. That's, that's your choice. Um, and maybe we, should, maybe we should talk about that some more, I don't know. But anyways, guys, I have a dentist appointment, which is probably like in 15 minutes because this went so long. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Probably not gonna get much out of this one besides uh, me rambling, but um, hopefully we'll come back with something a little more concrete uh, soon, and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care.